I decided to test three Discord Nitro generators, one of which was made by ChatGPT because I get a whole bunch of people in my DMs begging for Nitro. So using these generators, did I end up getting free Discord Nitro or do I have to call in an exorcism on my PC because things are moving on its own? Now let's start off with the first Discord Nitro generator that was advertised to one of my viewers in DMs. And stop, stop, stop looking at the name. This is not stop. But you'll see from this person's DMs that the Nitro generator actually works. And it's inviting me to a Discord server called cryptic services. Now, if I look back at my ticket, the invite link is invalid. My hopes and dreams for infinite free nitro are gone. I'm about to start my new depression arc, YouTube. Just kidding. Like every mid-40s dad who's having a midlife crisis, I am prepared for the end of the world. But for me in this case, I'm prepared for the server to get terminated. So I joined it a long time ago on my wonderful alt account, which I'll have to change the username of because everyone keeps tracking me down. Anywho, inside of this cryptic services discord server, there is a lot going for us. We have an announcement, a whole bunch of giveaways, reviews, Views. We got free tools, we got our nitro generator, which we'll look at. But this server's a little bit of a smorgasbord, a charcuterie board of different internet things. Because he's got nitro generator, gift card generator, follower boost, FPS optimizer, skin changer, trigger bot, Fortnite Cheeto, and we also have methods like account generator, account cracker, and warzone skin unlocker. <laughs> this guy's just covering every aspect of the internet. And I want to make it clear, I'm getting the best of the best Discord nitro generators because you see this, ooh, this announcement? Bumpy's telling me today, an hour and a half ago, that all tools, cheats, and account tools have been updated. That means this nitro generator should be perfect. Let's take a little gander at this nitro generator. Now, we have Bumpy here telling me to click the download link, but instead I want to see what's available in this nitro generator. And we have Cryptic here. His profile photo has a B. And the owner of the server is Bumpy, and his profile photo has a B. Now, I got some high IQ strats, boys, but I think these two are the same people. Anyways, what's in store for this nitro generator? Well, it's self-explanatory, and that's perfect for me. If it's self-explanatory, I don't need to tell you anything about this, and it's time to download this bad boy. So I click on this link, and it's going to take me to Go File. This website is very important, and you'll see why. And I'm going to submit this bad boy to Triage, which is a, a, a malware VM, aka I don't blow up my computer. So I'm going to paste in this URL and open up my virtual machine. But you can see from this file that it has two downloads already. And that was an hour and a half ago. That's a little scary. But I'm going to download this file, open this bad boy in File Explorer, right click and I'm going to extract the archive. Now opening up this Noxy generator v1, we can see that we have a handful of files. We have assets, instructions, license, and valid accounts. But before I open up this generator, there's this assets.dll file, which was pretty interesting to me. And what I decided to do is I decided to open this DLL file with Notepad. Now believe it or not, despite all of my attempts of trying to learn binary and learn how to speak computer to my AI VTuber girlfriend, I have no idea what is going on on my screen. Spoiler alert, I looked at this file and it has absolutely nothing in it of note that is important. So we're going to skip past this and instead I'm going to dive right first by opening up this generator. Oh, it's downloading some files, which is pretty interesting. Oh, Intel loader. Okay. Nothing. I mean, I've never seen this before. Epic gay? I, I should have maybe thought before I spoke there. But we have an epic GA file. We'll see where that goes. But I'm opening up this generator. The suspense is building. Or it might be my acid reflux. But we'll open this up. We can see a local temp. There's some file here. What type of gift card do I want to generate? Wait, 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 hold on here. What? <laughs> This is supposed to be my free nitro generator. Why is it that I checked this out yesterday? <laughs> All right, so since that internet coding genius that I thought was a genius is an absolute bonehead, I'm actually going back to the old file that I analyzed before, but I'm going to download this file. I do want to point out that yes, there is a gambling ad in the middle of my screen. Ignore that. Gambling is awful. You will ruin your life with gambling. There we go. Now I feel morally good about myself. Now it's time for me to generate some stuff. And I want to point out, let me zoom in for emphasis here. You can see that this points to C, users, admin, app data, local, temp, this random number, and noxy.exe. That's important for a little bit later, but I'm going to generate either a nitro boost or nitro basic. You know what they say, go big or go home, baby. So I'm going to press one, it's loading the configs, doing its magic, and now it's generating my nitro codes. If I leave this running forever, I'm going to have Discord nitro. Now, while I stare at this screen and completely forget about the massive red flag of this exe file closing my browser, I think I should do a little bit of poking and prodding around. Because remember, I need to go to this place, the local temp file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file explorer and like two, zooming in way too much here. Grandma viewers, I'm sorry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to percent local app data percent. And then you go to your roaming folder and install the Minecraft mods. Oh my. 
Triage, if you keep on exiting my full screen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start punching drywall. So anywho, we're in the local file. I'm going to go to temp, and I'm going to sort by date modified, so things are a little bit easier for me. That made things not easy at all. It actually made it worse, and I need to keep on scrolling. But you'll see we have the ixp001.tmt folder. TMP. Can't read nor record properly. But when I double click on this bad boy, we have main and we have noxy exe. But if I go back for a second, scroll down again, there's also a 000 folder, which I open it up. Up, and oh my gosh, we have Epic Gay right there. Why would this Nitro Generator put a whole bunch of temporary files? Seems a little suspicious. What if I did something a little bit interesting? Like searching for my task manager. Opening it up, we can see my Nitro Generator is running. But if I go to more details and I go to startup, huh, there's a familiar name in my startup folder. Epic Gay. And there's also this main.exe. Both of these were added when I opened up the Nitro Generator. Now I'm going to see what they do because the whole entire point behind putting these files in your startup folder is that you turn off your computer and when you turn it back on, it'll automatically run these programs. So I might as well right click and open the file location to see where they're located. And let me run Epic Games and see what it does. Well, in my temporary folder, it creates two new folders and then they disappear. All right. Well, that's not going to help me. What if I open this main.exe file though? This is definitely not a sketch random file. Let me just open it up. Oh, now we have more folders that are popping up. Oh, one of them already disappeared, but we'll notice there's this TMP folder, which has a, a gen underscore PY in it. It's empty. All right, let's go back then. What's this other folder though? The CPZGHM blah, blah, blah. Let me double click on this. Uh-oh. You see what's inside of this folder? We have browser CCs, which stands for credit card. We have browser cookies. We have browser history, and we have Roblox cookies. In fact, it also has our clipboard. Do I have anything in my clipboard? No, clipboard empty. Okay. I close. And then we also have, oh, what's this? They took a screenshot of what's on my computer. Oh, and which file was I opening? Oh yeah, that's right. Main.exe, as you can tell, it's selected. When you open up main.exe, it'll create this folder here, which contains your browser cookies, passwords, everything, your clipboard, and a screenshot of your desktop. So instead of me getting free Discord Nitro, I, I got hacked and I'm going to need a computer exorcist. So taking a gander at the triage analysis, there's a, I mean, first off, it, it, it it just tells you right there. It's spyware. It's a stealer. This is malware. I do want to point out, though, that there's a couple of interesting things that this file does. It turns off your antivirus. What it also does is adds an exclusion path to your app data folder, which is where that whole entire malware is running. And finally, what does it do with all that? Well, it makes the screenshot, saves your passwords, all that stuff. And finally, it will run command prompt to get your passwords and upload it to gofile.io. So if I made the grave mistake of running this nitro generator that actually works, yeah, Yes, I would be a hacked account. All right, let's take a look at generator number two. That is not a virus. And how do I know it's not a virus? Well, the person that told me about it says, don't worry, there is no virus or hacking stuff. They tried it. So I open up their file. I visit the website. It takes me to Dropbox and I open up the folder and you'll notice this Nitro Labs premium is 784 megabytes big. This Nitro Generator, which is something that is extremely simple, is bigger than the game Terraria. And why is this generator so big? Well, it's because you have things like Virus Total, which has a max size of 650 megabytes. Scammers will fill their files with a whole bunch of garbage so that you can't scan it on Virus Total, which makes it easy for normal people. But you probably predicted what happened. I ran it through triage. It is the Dropbox to Nitro Labs Premium, and it puts stuff in my startup file so that it'll automatically load malware and hack my computer. The reason why I'm showing you this is that you can't trust anyone on Discord. So I decided, you know what? Attempt number three, I am going to make it myself with AI, with chat GPT. Because here's the thing, when you actually make a Nitro code, all you're doing is just doing discord.gift slash a whole bunch of random crap. And if you're lucky enough, this is a real Discord Nitro gift link. So what if I use chat GPT to make code that will automatically generate a whole bunch of Nitro gift links and validate whether or not they're real or invalid? Well, let's give it a shot. So first things first, I don't know how many characters are in a Discord gift link. So I just went to Discord's Nitro gifting page and they have a screenshot with a Nitro gift. All I did is I just copied how many characters are in here, which are 18 characters. Then with that information, I went to the downfall of the internet, chat GPT. And I told our beautiful robot sentient overlords the following. Write me a Python script that will infinitely generate strings of text. There must be 18 randomly generated alphanumerical values per string. Then I want this randomly generated string to be sent to a function, which will send a get request to Discord 
Discord, specifically this URL, and I want ChatGPT to replace code with the randomly generated Nitro code. And if the request is valid with a status code of 200, I want Discord to send the Nitro code through a Discord webhook to, of course, my Discord server, where I put Nitro here. And believe it or not, ChatGPT didn't tell me this is bad and unethical and you're stealing from Discord. It just gave me the code straight up. And let me tell you, this code isn't perfect. There's a couple things you need to mess around with it, but it's pretty bang on. Now, if you weren't a stupid moron like myself that has access to ChatGPT, you could technically make this code yourself. You could add proxying, threading, and all that yada yada to make this super fast. But that still raises the question, could you theoretically generate a Discord Nitro code that actually is valid? Yes, you can generate a valid Discord Nitro code, but there's absolutely no way you're ever going to do it, because the probability of you generating a Nitro code is, well, I'm kind of too stupid to figure out, and it turns out I don't even need to figure out what the probability is, because back in the golden heyday of Discord, one of Discord's ancient mathematicians, our boy Arjane, actually made a video about free Nitro generators, in which he did the statistical math, and basically he determined that if you wanted a Discord Nitro code, you would need to generate five octillion Discord Nitro codes. So you have a one in five octillion chance of generating a Discord Nitro code. So technically it's possible, but you would have better odds at winning the lottery. Again, flashback to that ad, I do not endorse or promote gambling. Please do not waste your money. Now, Arjane even made his own Nitro generator, but what he did is he timed how long it would take to generate a code. And it took him 0.007 milliseconds to generate a code. And guess how long it would take for him to basically have a guaranteed chance at getting Discord Nitro? It would take 11376, a lot of numbers that I'm not going to read because I'm lazy, years. You're going to be long gone and dead before you even have the chance to generate a valid Discord Nitro code. Now, I don't want to leave you all sad here thinking, okay, well, it's mathematically impossible for me to get free Discord Nitro. Actually, there are valid ways of getting free Discord Nitro. Now, I'm going to have this website linked in the description, and this is where they show you all the free Nitro promotions. So the one month of Opera GX, I already made a video about it, but it's right here. Now, of course, you probably already know if you're watching a Nitro Generator video that these Nitro promotions are for first-time users only, and you need a credit card to use them, so it's a massive headache. Now, what you could do is you could try to get gifted Nitro, but at the same time, you're just begging to people, and it never works out. Really, the only time you're going to get free Nitro from people is if you're smoking hot like me. You see that guy? He's muscular. That's me, not stock footage. Don't even try reverse image searching this. That's me. But really, you as a normal individual user, you have two options. You have one, you could do chores and you could ask your parents to buy it for you. Or two, just use something called client modifications. I use Vencord all the time. I have videos literally all about it. I'll have it in the end cards. It's popping up on the screen right now. Vencord allows you to get free Discord Nitro features. Anywho, that's the way she goes, gamers. I gotta go pick up the in-laws. Yikes. Anywho, bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.